most terrifying moment of any officer's life, when they have no choice. Shots fired, shots fired. But to fight firepower with firepower. The handgun. No officer wants to use one. But if he has to, he's always known that his training and firepower are capable of defeating the most dangerous of criminals. So far, we know that he's held up a uh, teller at gunpoint. Dallas, Texas. This is the way it's always gone down. A bank robber with a handgun might elude police for a while. But when it comes time for the showdown, you can see an officer crouched down with her weapon drawn. The suspect has a gun. Shots fired. Shots fired. Two trained officers with their sidearms have the skill to prevail. Shots fired. The suspect is down. North Carolina, 1994. Officers find themselves against an enraged man with a shotgun. It's a delicate matter, but one the police are equipped to handle. When negotiation fails, SWAT comes in with high-powered rifles. Using these guns is a last resort, but if the suspect points his weapon at police, officers can respond with a swift and sure defense. North Hollywood, February 1997. This is the case that would change the rules forever. Officers find themselves against a fully automatic modified AK-47 with armored piercing bullets. Two bank robbers wearing body armor unleash a barrage of ammunition unlike anything police have ever dealt with. He's wearing heavy uh, body armor, so he's not knocking down at all. Outgunned officers take cover where they can, behind parked cars, behind buildings. But all the cover provides is a veil. The gunman's powerful bullets tear through concrete and metal and find their targets. Officer down, officer down. Police return fire, but their 9mm bullets only chip away at the building. The gunmen are unfazed. They continue to launch 10 rounds per second at everything in sight. This reporter is caught in the crossfire as armored piercing slugs ricochet past his head. Helicopters record the mayhem. They too become targets. Police respond quickly, clearing the area of civilians. Then, the gunmen begin their escape. One robber drives the getaway car. The other strolls alongside as a sweeper, clearing the path of anyone that might stop them. The cop's aim doesn't matter. The suspect's body armor repels the smaller ammunition easily. Police have to act, and they know just what to do. Hit the local gun store and even the odds by obtaining high-powered weapons. We heard the police were up against perpetrators with body armor, which their uh, normal weapons could not penetrate, and that they needed instant firepower. We uh, loaned them five of these rifles, basically a civilian version of the M16 automatic rifle. Meanwhile, the gunmen show no signs of slowing down. Trapped officers wait nervously as a gunfire approaches. But now officers are returning from the gun store. When the driver sees the decked out police arrive, he hits the accelerator, leaving his partner behind. True honor among thieves. The other gunman is trapped. Down to a pistol, he continues to shoot at police, not caring what happens. His gun gets shot from his hand. And with the police closing in, the suspect has nowhere to go. A block away, the driver searches for a tougher car, one sturdy enough to ram through any more police resistance. This pickup will do just fine. As the robber calmly transfers his gear to the truck, other civilians continue to drive by unaware. Police know that if he gets rolling again with that firepower still at his side, he may be unstoppable. He sees the officers coming. He bails preparing to deal with them the same way he's dealt with everyone else. But he's in for a surprise. This is a 5.56 NATO round, a 55-grain bullet coming out of the muzzle at 2,800 feet per second. Now the police has something to work with. The gunman shields himself behind the white car, knowing that bullets from a handgun could never reach him. He's going to have a little trouble now. There's an officer showing up, and as you can see, they are opening fire right now. 
Suddenly, he realizes that his bullets are not stopping the police, and their bullets are getting through to him. He's got nowhere left to hide. His last shot goes into the curb. He struggles to get up, but his robbing days are over. Officers approaching the vehicle very carefully now, very cautious. Police secure the street. Miraculously, no police or civilians were killed. For officers like this one, who found himself against the wall, the day is finally over. But what will he face tomorrow? Police are now equipped to handle situations like this, which will surely happen again. Because unfortunately, guns like these are fairly easy to obtain. Today, officers need more than just better training. They need more than better weaponry. They need the courage and commitment to stand up against criminals like these. Criminals who will put the officer in the crossfire. <laughs>